What's going on guys, Zabby here, and today we're going to be heading to the Everglades in the No Money Spent series here in Fishing Planet. Now what I did is I farmed Emerald Lake a little bit more. I grinded back up to about halfway through level 22 and $27,145. Now it doesn't have to be exact, but this is what I'm going to be doing uh, before we go to the Everglades. So first things first is we got we to gotta figure out our travel costs, all that stuff. So $7,500 for travel. And then we're going to go ahead and buy a one-day advanced license in Florida for now. But we have a couple other things to buy. There's some rods I want to buy and stuff. And you got to remember, guys, we are not going to be here for too long. We're going to fish a little bit. But we're basically going to go to the Everglades, make enough money to upgrade our keep net, level up enough to upgrade our keep net. Then we're going to leave the lake, and then we're going to go back with a bigger keep net. But for now, it's going to be pretty tight margin, so you want to make sure you stay there for like four or five days at a time. Just... That way you can make a little bit more money and save up for that keep net. Because if you look here, we go to keep net. We actually don't have anything unlocked yet until 23, 26, 28. So the higher levels are a little bit, they're a little bit spread out. We got this at 24, 50 kilogram uh, stringer. This is probably where we're going to end up buying at 24, to be completely honest with you. But anyways, let's move on to the rod. For the rod setup, I am going to use the jig winner 240. So let's go ahead and buy that. This is the level 18 uh, jig winner, so it's 5.5 kilogram max line weight. For the reels, uh, we're going to buy the same reel we bought in the last video, which is the... This one. Aspire ML 2500. A very expensive reel, but that's okay. So, we actually have an extra reel there, but we're just going to save that. And we'll throw that one in there. Now, we are going to need some line. Uh, what do we have on here? 4.5 kilogram. That's for the Nero. We got six. Let's we'll we'll throw on some 5.5 uh, 5 kilogram line or something around that. So let me just find some line here. All right, guys. So I bought some 5.5 kilogram fluoro line. Now I know it's not necessarily perfect for bass fishing, but I wanted to get. A couple different options here there's also some mono line that we could grab as well so i'm gonna grab a little bit of everything just to make sure that when we go we have what we need what we want i don't want to go there and then not have the right stuff because that would be a disaster so anyways let's go ahead and equip some of this line here um i guess i'll bring all of that i want to see how much it's gonna hold yeah okay so let's go with the mono for now because there isn't braid that we need so now we need to decide what we want to use in terms of a lure now there's a couple different things you can use here i've had people comment on my videos that the frog poppers are really good for bass here um, i usually use bass jigs but we'll take a look at the uh at the frog poppers here just to see uh, they do cost bait coins though i think right yeah see i don't want to we don't get them until 28 we actually can't use those just yet we could maybe try out a walker just for free a walker it's expensive though we still gotta buy we still gotta afford travel so it's gonna be tight here for sure it's gonna be tight here but i think what we should do is just go with a bass jig for now in all honesty they're a lot cheaper uh, maybe we'll try out the frog poppers or walkers and stuff in the future while we're here. But for now, uh, let me double check the grams here. 4 to 18. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these 3-0 bass jigs here. Now these unlock at level 20. Green pumpkin and acid yellow brown. I'm just going to go with whatever. I don't think it's really going to matter. But we are basically at our limit now for what we can actually spend this time around. So I think we're just going to go with these setups. I'm also going to bring some narrow spoons and stuff like that. But for now, I think this is probably okay. We do have some some minnows here. Uh, not a ton, but you got to remember, we're not going to be there too long just because of the fact that uh, we need to upgrade our keep net. That's very, very important. We need to upgrade our keep net. So as soon as we can upgrade that keep net, we got to leave. Just deal with the travel costs and then end up going. Uh, one thing we can do before we leave is sell some of this old stuff we do not need. Um, I guess I'll keep that reel for now. How much does it sell for? Uh, you know what? We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. We don't really need it. 
yeah this is what we're gonna go with so we got the jig winner 240 the aspire ml 2500 5.5 kilograms setup with a 3.0 bass jig then we got our float rod the nero 4500 aspire ml 2500 this is a six kilogram setup and then we got our five kilogram nero rod the 330 and that should be pretty much good to good to go um let me see the hooks did i buy 3.0 hooks ah, i almost forgot so lastly but certainly not least uh go to barbless hooks i'm gonna use barbless hooks because i want the xp uh, let's grab some 3-0s. We're going to grab some 3-0 hooks there. And we will throw those on our float rods. That's what we're going to be using. I will figure out the depths uh, when we get there. I'm going to have to test it out a little bit. But for the most part, this should be a pretty good setup, guys. Make sure you have all your equipment, your uh, rod stand, stuff like that. Let's head to the Everglades for the first time and no money spent. But before we even get into this, I already made another mistake here on the no money spent account. I completely forgot that these rod stands do not actually work on docks here. They work on the dock in Emerald, but they don't work here. Hey, Gilmore, you suck, you jackass. Why don't you shut the hell up? So that means we're only gonna be able to use one rod at a time, which kind of sucks. Luckily, we're not gonna be here for that long. We're just saving money to get a keep net, enough to pay for travel and another license, and then we will be right back. Um, okay, there's the American flag. But, uh, yeah, I completely forgot that these rod stands don't work here. Uh, I think we can get the cheaper ones. Maybe just to have two rods going, but... Yeah, so unfortunately that's not gonna work. I will leave a disclaimer before you guys, uh, head here. Just because you guys can only bring one rod with you then if you want to save on repair costs and stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and fish here. We are at the Infinity Tunnels. If you guys have seen the bass video, you just cast out to here. But... You can also use your float rod and stuff. You can maybe try and get some common snook and stuff like that as well. Just to uh, make a little bit more money and all that. But I'm going to go fishing here, guys. Uh, I'll show you guys what we catch over the next uh, little bit here. All right, guys. We got our first bass on right now. And we know it's a bass because it's just bass city all in this area. Uh, we can maybe go after some gar and stuff too. Uh, it's just a little bit risky with uh, no leaders and stuff. So we can maybe do that, but... For the most part, I'm going to be fishing bass here. And these fights are not going to be easy, guys. Especially if it's uh, unique. The fights are not going to be easy. We're basically using um, the exact setup. I think they max at like 5.5 kilograms. The bass here. And that's our best setup. So anything easy is basically going to be a common. Anything tough is going to be like a trophy or a unique. And that's just the way it's going to be because we really couldn't afford to go with a better rod right away. And I didn't want to stay at Emerald too long. I'd rather come to the Everglades, get some XP, level up a little faster. Because our main goal right now is to head to Michigan. But yeah, these they are going to be some fights here, guys. Especially with the uh, the Jig winner. We can maybe go with the Nero, uh, the 6 kilogram rod, uh, float rod, just to make things a little bit easier. But for now, we're going to go with this. Get some XP, level up. Try and make some cash. We gotta get that stringer or keep net. We gotta upgrade that big time. That way we can make a little bit more money here. Come on. Come in. And then maybe I'll buy an extra rod stand just because I'm dumb. And I forgot that those rod stands don't work here. You actually, you forget a lot of stuff when you uh, go through the game a second time. And I haven't even been... I've just been doing it off memory on this series too. I haven't really been looking anything up. Like I, I haven't even watched my own videos to kind of see what's happening. But you guys can see the fight here is crazy. But I'm not a pro fisherman, all right. So I don't know. I don't know everything about the game. And anyone who stopped by the streams ever on Fishing Planet knows that I say that all the time. Come on. Be nice to start off this video with a unique though it really really would be Some good xp right out of the gate come on the hell of a fight though Let 
You actually have to be careful with repair costs too over the next uh, little bit as well. I really like our setups we have. We can basically use these almost everywhere. Um, or all the lower level lakes we can use these now. So we don't ever have to go and buy another setup. Say we want to go to Falcon or whatever. We don't have to buy a setup to go to Falcon anymore. These three pulls will be very, very good for a while. For the most for most of the things we're going to fish. Uh, we will need, obviously, heavier duty rods when we go to Michigan. But we can't really deal with that now. But that's the plan is to go to Michigan next. Probably stay here for a while. Maybe we'll check out Falcon. Maybe we'll check out Alberta. All right, there we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, we can't even keep it. Oh, we can't even keep it. Oh, well. We did catch a unique, but this is what I'm talking about, guys. Our keep net is literally not big enough for this area. So we can't keep this bass, but... It does suck because it's $700 and we caught a unique our first cast. But, 505 XP, we'll take that. The quicker we level up, the quicker we can upgrade our setup, buy a better keep net, and start keeping fish like these. It does suck. Trust me, it does suck to not be able to keep that, that fish there. But, we're not going to catch uniques every single time. Not much you can do about it. We will take the XP, though. I'm going to keep farming for a little bit, guys. I'll show you guys some of my other catches. And hopefully, we can uh, start saving some money get that keep net upgraded we pulled in a trophy largemouth here 2.85 kilograms 111 xp 442 dollars so it is pretty good xp i know people are going to probably complain about the fact that it's not more money than emerald lake really it's about the same in all honesty and it costs a little bit more to get here but money is not the only thing that's important in this game the faster you level up the faster you're going to get to those other lakes like michigan where you start making some real bank that's why I'm here is because the XP you get from the uniques and the trophies is much better than the walleye. Just flat out way better. But yeah, there's a trophy. Not bad. We're going to keep on fishing. We grabbed a trophy butterfly peacock bass here. We got 198 XP, $559. We have almost filled up our keep net. So what I'm going to do is fill up the keep net, show you guys how much money and XP we made for that day. And then I'm probably going to just figure out how, how long I want to stay here and then in the next video what I'm going to do is go ahead grab a new uh, stringer or keep net and then maybe try and um, afford a, a different rod stand that we can at least use here or maybe even so we can just do two rods at once because uh, I completely forgot about that like a dummy but the uh, the fish are, the fish here is good it really just depends on what you want to do. I know it's not exactly the greatest money, but remember, you got to try and level up so we can get to Michigan. That's the main goal right now. We got another unique largemouth bass here. 495 XP, $752. Unfortunately, we cannot keep this fish just yet. But once we have our upgraded stringer and keep them, we will be able to keep these fish. But the XP alone is worth it. We have almost leveled up already. It's only been one day. So let's go ahead, catch one or two more fish, fill the keep net, but that's two uniques in one day. Great amount of XP. Uh, I can't wait to start keeping these fish because they are really, really, really good. We filled up our keep net here on day one. Uh, it only took us a couple hours in game, so not a big deal. Let's go to our inventory and take a quick peek. So the total amount of money is 4,990. We got 17 fish. The XPs are pretty decent and imagine if we could actually hold on to those uniques it would be a lot better but not bad money for one day so if we think about it we spent about 7k to get here 4,000 for the license so we already paid the license back so we're gonna want to stay here probably another two three days uh most likely and we want to save up i'd say probably like 15 ish k we want to make sure that we pay off our travel for this time pay off our travel for next time and then also have enough money to upgrade our keep net because we want to be keeping those uniques to make this go a lot faster but we almost leveled up already which is great but still it's not bad xp it's not bad money and it's only going to get better as we upgrade our setup or, or upgrade our keep net and then I'll also i'm going to buy a different rod stand so that way we can use two because i'm dumb but hey it works it's worked out pretty well uh just wish we could keep those uniques but four thousand nine hundred ninety dollars and that's with a 30 kilogram keep net so 
the more we upgrade, the better the money's going to get. So let's go ahead and go to the next day here. $1,000 to extend. There we go. $4,990 and then $1,000 take it off. So $3,990. So not a, like a ton of money, guys. But we are here for the XP. But we're going to stay here a couple more days. Keep on fishing. And then hopefully we can um, build up enough savings to uh, come back here and get a bigger keep net. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. We're going to buy that keep net. And uh, we're going to keep those uniques. We're going to keep on fishing. And we're going to try and grind our way up towards Michigan. It's going to be a long, a long grind to get to Michigan. we got eight levels to go. It's not easy. But once we go to Michigan is when the fun really, really begins. We're going to start making bank there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like Twitch, where I stream five days a week. Come hang out live. It's a lot of fun. Also, make sure to come type a comment. Tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.